Well, have fun, sweetheart. Thanks, Dad. What happened to the dress? They run out of material. Clint, if you bothered to read the style section of your own newspaper, I think you'd realize that she's just keeping up with the fashion. Thanks, Mom. Ready? We're gonna go. We're gonna miss the movie. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good night, good night. <clears throat> I will wait up, by the way. Uh, don't worry, Mrs. Carpenter. I'll, I'll take good care of it. Good night. I think something just went right by me there. No, I didn't. That doesn't sound very reassuring, Ricky. Clint, we have to trust in our daughter's very good sense, with which she has plenty. At least she did until Dorian started advising her. And as we know, Dorian has a very strangely warped sense of values about life in general. And sex in particular. I think I need to sit down. I was completely exonerated in Victor's death. By these figures, the banner hasn't been as profitable this quarter. Vicky, there's an ebb and flow to these things, as you know. We're doing okay. Right. Now, tell me, what did Dorian say to Jessica? Essentially, that virginity is a hurdle to be cleared. Nothing more, nothing less. Take a deep breath and let it out slowly. Jessica knows better. Yes. And no. Clint, she is feeling the weight of youth and innocence particularly keenly at this moment. Well, the dress. Let's call it a statement. Of what? Oh, I'll rip the Vega boy's lungs out, Vicky. That's a mature reaction. Well, I can't help it. I know what's on his mind. It's been on his mind for quite some time, on Jessica's, too. Well, we should have sent her to Europe last summer like I wanted, after I caught them together at Carlotta's. Well, what would that have accomplished, really? I still say that Jessie is not going to do anything that she's not ready for. Yeah. What if she thinks she's ready? Then you and I are going to have to make certain mental adjustments. After all, she's almost a college student. Well, maybe she should be taking co uh, correspondence courses. You know, I'm thinking about uh, locking her in her room until she's about 30. That would be gothic. Why don't you seem to be having a problem with this? Are you kidding? Me? How can my baby be ready for sex? I'm not ready for her to be well, ready. Well, exactly. I mean, that settles it. You just can't do this. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Put a six feet under. What a terrible thing to dwell on. I don't know about you, but I fully intend to live to be a feisty and very old lady. Well, you do realize that we are now part of the older generation. Speak for yourself. Besides, where does that leave Asa? Well, that's true, but then he never ages. Hey, none of us do. No. You know something? As long as I don't look in a mirror, I guess I feel about 28 or so. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I got even that far. 22, maybe. <laughs> you know, that makes Kevin older than I am. <laughs> well, speaking of Kevin, I tried to call him this morning. I got Drew. He said that Kevin didn't come home last night. Oh. Now, who is he courting these days? <laughs> Only a Buchanan would use the word courting, I swear. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? Oh, not a thing. Not a thing. It's part of your charm. <laughs> so you still think I got some charm left? What do you mean, left? You're only 22 in your mind, remember? <laughs> I'll prove it to you. Did you happen to notice that young New York attorney who was assisting Nora during Antonio Vega's trial? Oh, the Veronica Lake type in the black cutout dress at the uh, fashion show? First my point. But if you're only 22, you don't know who Veronica Lake is. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> anyway, her name is Taya Delgado. And she is the young lady who has been keeping Kevin's mind off of Cassie, which is all to the good, considering. Well, maybe that's what we need. A distraction. 
I mean, we're sitting here worried about our kids' sex lives and instead of our own. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Well, that's exactly my point. It's not a darn thing. <laughs> we could fix that. Clint, I, you know what? I think it's uh, probably time for you to go home. Or upstairs? Uh, no, no, I think home. You know, we've got a kind of good thing going. Uh, let's not complicate matters. Complications can keep people young. Not necessarily. Are you blushing? No. No, I'm hyperventilating. Well, that sounds kind of promising. Clint! Stop! Come on! You are blushing. You know, that's very becoming. 